Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Today I'm going to do facts on dog attacks. <clears throat> I was looking through some, some statistics on dog bites um, and I found a bunch of information I thought was worth sharing and hopefully I can keep this in a short video so that it's easy to digest and this is how I'm going to continue is by putting the facts out there. Real quick, I want to do a couple shout outs uh, specifically to Pulsito. Um, I did not call you out on my last video and I apologize. Thank you for your comments. Get the likes and subscribes up. Let's get the word out there. Share with anyone you feel that would be interested in this content. Truly appreciate you. So let's get right into it. I found most of like literally 99% of this information on a group MK, MKP law group and they are there to help victims of dog bites. So let's get right into it here. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> there are 4.5 million dog bites a year and at least half of them are children. 4.5 million a year. It's staggering. That's a lot of attacks. <clears throat> California and Texas have the most fatalities. I would like to say that the probability is higher because both of those states are so large. I think that just goes without saying. Followed by Florida, North Carolina, and Ohio. And that's where I'm going to spend a minute talking real quick before I move on. As I lived in Ohio and was raised there in and around Dayton, Ohio, um, they actually you're allowed to kill a dog that attacks you there it's legal and I can see why you know after living there all the years that I did I've been attacked by multiple breeds of dogs there um, I've been attacked while walking other people's dogs back when I used to do stuff like that I've been attacked with children with me walking down the road in alleyways <clears throat> walking past yards Rottweilers, German Shepherds, Pit Bulls, Chihuahuas. Uh, the last one I was attacked by in Dayton was a Pomeranian. <laughs> and uh, that was only, that was within the year, probably about six months ago. And it came running at me from across the street. And I stuck my foot up, just like boot like this. And it runs up under my boot and starts yapping and acting all crazy. And I'm just waiting for it to actually, because I'm about to stomp it. And the girl comes running over screaming at me, don't hurt him, don't hurt him. And I'm like, walking down the road, I'm not hurting anybody. Your dog is attempting to hurt me. And she scooped him up and um, I know he was about to go for the ankles. And I don't take any, um, any uh, joy out of killing little tiny dogs like that. That little dog, let me unplug this. That little dog doesn't have shit on me, uh, you know, but if he was to inflict damage on me, I'm going to return the favor. Moving on. And I, I could talk about Ohio and dogs. In fact, how about I make that my next video? Um, dog attacks in Ohio. Moving on. The dogs, they prey on age groups, infancy to nine years old. That's their, that's the, that's the human they attack the most. Infants, Zero is the way they listed it to five and up to nine years old. The percentage is very high with young children. They like to prey on small children, not people like me, not something that can fight back. Although they are known and we've already talked about it to attack plenty of people that are in their twenties. And some of these people have health conditions or they were caught off guard or it's a whole pack of dogs ends up killing someone like in some of my prior videos, the dog attacks between, uh, what was it? January through, uh, July as of today. And, uh, you know, there was a 28 year old man, there was a 28 year old girl, 27 year old man, 28 year old girl, either way, way too old and young to be killed by dogs. It's crazy. <clears throat> and then the elderly, of course, um, as like the old lady who was sitting on her porch and was pulled off the porch and mauled by several dogs and killed. So you'll have that. A dog bite occurs every 75 seconds in the United States. So since this video has started and we're about to go into five minutes, 
That means roughly five people have been bitten since I started this video five minutes ago. Roughly, you know. <clears throat> a thousand people enter the emergency room a day for dog bites. Uh, so we've got a lot of unreported dog bites and a lot of people that aren't seeking help for the bites. I'm going to assume a lot of these people that aren't seeking medical assistance for these bites are the owners of the dogs themselves because we all know how they like to dance around the truth, not admit to it, and they want to hide it. Um, you know, there are parents of serial killers and murderers that have been known to do the same thing, even help their children hide the body. Well, you've got people with dogs that clearly do this all the time. In fact, the stories where they like attack and the person shows up and like grabs the dog and then runs off with it instead of seeing if everyone's okay. Uh, that's, that's actually happens a lot. And, uh, throughout this channel, you're going to hear me talk about that a lot. 80% <clears throat> of dog bites on children are to the head and neck area. So they know exactly what they're doing. Uh, the dog is not agitated. It's not reaching over and nipping the kid on the arm because it hurt them. You know, it, none of that. It's going for the kill. They know to go for this area to kill. And so this child that they live with, and we'll get to that in a second, of the percentage of family dogs that attack people in their own home. These critters that are so protective and love these people so much are attacking their children and going right for the kill points. So they know what they're doing. Okay, it, we need to understand that. They know what they're doing and they're quite proficient at it. <clears throat> Between 2005 and 2017, pit bulls kill a person every 16.7 days. So, you wanna round up or round down? It's up to you. I don't care, let's just call it 17 days. Every 17 days, a pit bull breed kills a person. I am not discriminant on any certain breed. I'm just not a fan. I do not like having these things. You know, people won't even follow the simplest rules like getting them tagged or keeping them on a leash or picking up their feces, you know, uh, containing their own pets. So past the pit bull part, we're just saying that these things are dangerous and they're not being contained properly and they are continuously getting out at a rate that they can kill someone in every 17 days, that a thousand people a day are in the ER for these bites. That's pretty wild. <clears throat> in 2017, dog bites and injuries accounted for more than 33% of paid homeowners insurance liability claims and totaling over $700 million. That's, uh, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't think I need to uh, go into that too much further. That's a lot of money. I, I don't know what a couple of us would do with just even a few thousand dollars. Uh, $700 million in homeowners insurance liability claims is, is rather high. Uh, I think that's a bit much. Dogs are the fourth deadliest creature on earth. Uh, mosquitoes topping the line of all of this. Uh, I actually got stung by a mosquito a couple times. You guys might be able to see it. Um, but yeah, I got stung by a mosquito twice last night while I was working in the yard. I'm still alive to tell the tale, thank goodness. And it didn't maim or um, disfigure me. Well, that's good. Not that they don't and not that they don't kill. I'm just making a point. Here's onto the statistic about family dogs that I wanted to cover. I think it's very important because everybody's always like, oh, my dog's never hurt anyone. My dog's nice. He'd never do that. You shouldn't be telling people that because you cannot prove that. You know, they change. I can't tell someone when they come to work on a horse with me that they're not going to get hurt. In fact, in most times you have to sign um, a waiver that says that you understand you can be hurt. Um, I can't tell you that about anything. A cat, a damn parrot that you keep in a cage. I can't tell you that about anything. They, things do harm humans, everything. So family dogs are responsible for 59% of deadly attacks. Family dogs are responsible for 59% of deadly attacks. 
over half of these family dogs in these homes are killing people, okay? 11% of canine death involving the family dog killing its owner. That's, that's also a decent number. And it's scary to me how much everybody is quick to defend these things, whether they attack a child or an elderly person or what have you. Chances are, percentages, they can end up killing you. And you feel confident, you feel like you know the dog. You cannot speak on that. I cannot speak on a horse that I have trained and worked around my whole life. I can't tell someone they're gonna be safe. That's not how this works. So everybody just remember that and calm down. I'm not here to attack anybody or judge, simply putting out the facts, okay? And last but not least, before I wrap this video up and keep it a short one for the day, and I did two yesterday on the dog attacks. I had to split it into two. So please take a look at those, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna keep this one short today. Newborns make up 50% of these victims. That's a lot of young children. That's babies, infants, 50%. That's a staggering statistic. And um, I even, speaking to my sister about the channel this morning, she's a dog lover. Even she says that she's happy I'm doing this. People need to know. Um, she's kind of secretly a dog hater too. We've all joked about it. People need to know. People are being disfigured and attacked and hurt and killed by these things daily. So let's do what we can to get the message out there. For now, I'm going to turn my air conditioner back on. The background noise is here again. And um, I'm going to thank you all for being here, joining me on the channel. Thank you for keeping your comments polite. Like I said, I welcome anyone who has questions or differs in my opinion, but you cannot argue the facts, okay? So I understand how you feel about your own pet, but just remember, it's not, not always factual. Um, what was the name? Um, internet, what was it? There was a person who had a comment, it was like internet room or roamer or something like that, that I spoke to this morning via comments. Thank you for keeping your comments appropriate. We want to all learn and get something from one another and me chasing you guys off and telling you that I think all these terrible things isn't going to get us anywhere. I want awareness and understanding and love and compassion between humans and I want us to understand. Humans first, thank you for joining. I'll have another video at least by tomorrow. Much love. Stay safe out there. Keep your weapons close. At least carry some mace. Protect yourself. These statistics don't lie. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great day.